You won't find any hobbits hanging around these two towers. Hey everyone, Coach Scott here to help you with another instant challenge. Today we're going to be working on concurrent towers. For this challenge, we have to build two towers out of these materials. Our score will reflect the height of the shortest tower, so we want to make sure they're close to the same height. The trick to this challenge is we will get more points for each material that is unique in each tower. What that means is if we just use straws for one tower and rubber bands for another tower, we get points for the straws and the rubber bands. But if we use straws on both towers, we don't get any points for the straws. So we want to make sure our two towers are completely unique. To build these towers, we will use four mailing labels, four craft sticks, four straws, two styrofoam cups, four note cards, four paper clips, two pipe cleaners, four rubber bands, a piece of Velcro tape, two plastic forks. Let's get started. Okay, to get the most points, we want to try to split these materials into two towers. Let's go one tower, we're going to use straws and paper clips, of course. If you watched any of my other videos, you would know why I selected the paper clips with the straws. So we're going to use straws, paper clips. Let's try some craft sticks and something to hold everything together. Let's go mailing labels. We're going to try one tower with that. That leaves us with two styrofoam cups, the note cards, the forks, and something to hold them together, the rubber bands. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do with these two yet, so let's just leave those where they are and start constructing our towers. Let's start with this tower. So let's move this stuff out of the way. Alright. Straws and paper clips. You should have seen this trick many, many times. Paper clip. Open it up. We put one straw there and one straw there. Perfect. This time I want to make a triangle similar to the one we did when we made the boat. So we're going to go here, put that one right in there, connect that to that one, and let's do a Final one here and there. Good. It's got a little bend in there, so let's just straighten that up. Okay. This will be the start of our first tower. As you can see, however, it's going to fall over. We're going to create a kickstand, just like for your bike. Kickstand will hold that up. We will use this remaining paper clip and this remaining straw. Paper clip there and fold that in. Put that paper clip right into that straw. Okay, now we can bend this around to however we want it to be. And look at that. Oh. And we have our kickstand. We have the beginning of a tower. Let's get this tower taller. We should be able to do that pretty easily with our mailing labels. Here, I'm going to do this here. We're going to take one full mailing label. I know I've said many times that you can split these in half, but for the first one, we're going to use a full one. Put our, mail our craft stick right in the middle of that, so this way we can tape this. What I'm doing here is taping it just like that. Pulling that under, pulling that under. 
fix our kickstand out. All right, there we go. Press stick number one. Now let's just keep piling, building up some craft sticks. For that, we can split these in half. All I'm gonna do, put it like that, and then connect it right on, just like this. Okay. Two, same thing. Put it here. Connect it here. Three. And let's go one more. I think we can get them all on here. And four. Look at that. We have our first tower complete, I think. And we have a few mailing labels left over. Now remember, we don't want to use these on the second tower, otherwise we won't get points for these being used on this tower. So we're just going to put these away so we don't try to use them. Take our tower, put this guy over here. Okay, let's start working on our next tower. First thing we're going to do is take one cup and put a rubber band around it. Just right around it. Let's make it go down a little bit, about halfway. We don't want to make it too tight because we don't want to break the cup. The reason for that rubber band is to hold our forks in place. So we're going to lift up that rubber band, tuck a fork right in there. So it stands just like that. We're going to do the other fork. On the opposite side of the cup. And just like so. Very nice. Now I want to use these note cards to build up from these forks, but I want these forks closer together so that I can stick paper in here and it won't fall down. So we're going to use another rubber band. Wrap it around the forks. Once, twice, and if your rubber band's big enough, third time. Just like that. With this, I want to stick the paper in the forks. And you see how the paper is a little bit thin. So we're going to make it just a little bit thicker by folding it in half. That way it stays right in that fork, nice and solid. We're going to do that with the second one. Put that. Now what I'm doing is putting them right on the outside ones, leaving that middle one in case I want to do something with that later. So just on the outside ones. Let's build this up taller using a note card. For this, I want to fold it in thirds, well, close to thirds. So, kind of like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted it folded into itself. Now this, I can put right in between this guy here. Since it's between the two fork tines, fits snugly. We can do that again with another one. Fold it in thirds and just put that one in nicely. It's nice and snug. Perfect. Look at that. So our tower is looking pretty good. However, as we see, it doesn't quite match the height of that tower. So our score would only be how tall this tower is. Let's make this tower a little higher. We should be able to do that fairly easily by just taking these pipe cleaners and 
Just slide them right into that paper that we folded. Not bad, huh? How does that match up to our other tower? As we can see, our first tower is still a little taller, which isn't bad. This is still a good height, but I believe we can get a little higher just by adding that cup. You might not be able to see that well, so let me put these closer to the camera so you can see the top of our towers. There we have it. Two completely different towers. The rules and details for this challenge is in the description down below in case you want to try it for yourself. But remember, just because I did it this way doesn't mean you have to. The key is to use your creativity and your imagination to do things your way. By doing that, you'll be able to crash through all of challenges that life may throw at you. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you let me know in the comments of anything you'd like to see in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when the next video gets uploaded.